Hi guys, hope you're all well. Um, I'm a bit excited today. I've got three new models coming out. Um, well, four. Well, I've got one new frame lock coming out that I am mad crazy excited about. I'm really excited about this. Um, I've brought out, um, my, for all you people that are loving my Field and Forest, I've brought out the Field and Forest Slim, which is a lot slimmer than my normal Field and Forest. Um, so that you um, be more carving orientated, but I'm also bringing out a different bushcraft model. Okay, that's great. I'm really liking that. Um, okay, this one I am just mad excited about, and I'm I'm in love with it. Um, I have a customer who, um, Mr. Marty, Mr. Gob. Um, who's ordered a, a Nesmuk style knife from me and um, this is something I've been wanting to do for a while anyway I've wanted a Nesmuk in my range for a while I've named this the Boone Dog <laughs> in memory of Mr Boone, Mr Daniel Boone who's you know where the, the Nes is so famous for so I've called it the Boone Dog <laughs> hope you like the name unless you can think of a better one for me anyway here we go I know you all love my Field and Forest handle so I've kept the Field and Forest handle um, which I love, you know, and it's in keeping with me because I spent, I tell you, I can't tell you how much paper, drawing, dropping the tip, doing this, doing that. These things don't just come out in 10 minutes. I've spent weeks doing this. Um, you know, I spoke to Sandy about this a long time ago. Um, <coughs> I spoke to Mo Marty about this months and months ago when we decided on his order. So this will be for you as well, Marty. Um, okay, so... There you go. Hope you like this. This is just rough, ready for eat treat. There's some tip detail. Okay. So, this will be part of my range now. This will be going on my site and uh, the boon dog is born. I am very, very happy with this. Um, it's something I've been wanting to do for ages and, uh, you know, I wanted one in my range and um, this is my own design and, you know, I'm very, very happy with it. Um, it'd be great. I was speaking to uh, Mr. Funky about one of the designs about the pushing and the pulling. It's, it's definitely reminiscent, you know, he's got the Nesmuk, you know, the rest of it. And, uh, you know, I look, looked at quite a few other little bits of um, other stuff, and, you know, and then I thought, no, you know, and then I've just sat down and drawn, dropped tips, and uh, made this up, dropped that down, took that away, brought the handle up, you know, as you do, and um, eventually this came out. and I'm I'm real happy. Um, I'm looking forward to getting it finished and seeing it when it's all done. Okay, and I'll just show you the frame lock when it's all done. Um, okay, hope you like that, guys. I hope everybody's okay, and I'm planning through your orders. And uh, I've got your um, for the lads who are waiting for the friction folders. They're coming, lads. Um, I'm starting to work on them now. And uh, okay, I've just had me some new boots in, some lowers. That I've been wanting, you know, I, they cost that much. I just, you know, it, 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 I had a pair before these uh, scarpers and they were really dear. And I just didn't get on with them and I thought, do I, don't I, you know, I, I paid all that money for my scarpers and I was really disappointed. You know, I used to do a lot of hiking and I went hiking in them, I got sore feet and, you know, I thought I've spent, you know, a lot on them, you know, well, over £100 and, uh, I th you know, I was so disappointed, and ever since then, I've been frightened to buy any boots of any kind of money like that. So I've, you know, and after going to the preppers meet and getting my feet just soaking through wearing my trainers because the scarpers I'm not mad on, um, you know, they give me sore feet. But anyway, I bit the bullet and I've been saving, and I bit the bullet and I bought them. And I've got to say, anybody who's looking for a pair of boots, the, the, these these lower mountain uh, GTXs, I, I've had these on today and they already feel like slippers. They're just mind blowing. I'm so happy and I think I've just felt lucky. Uh, maybe they wouldn't suit everybody's feet because normally I, you know, I, I should have really gone to a place and trying them on, and but I never. I took I, I took the risk and uh, through reading the reviews and stuff and listening to how many people um, say that they're great. So um, that's what I did and uh, it's paid off and now I'm set for boots now for the next so many years for you know and then i'll probably have them resold anyway uh, take care all boy for now lee